Welcome to the first interview on value optimizers. Welcome to the interview that I do with Sizagele Marutlule. Sizagele begins to tell us where she believes leadership comes from. I don't know, man. Leadership is not out there. You know, leadership is, um, do you want to run the comrades next year? Yes, it means at 430 you must get up and go to the gym, right? Do you want to write a book by the age of 20? Yes, it means every day you must set aside two hours to write a chapter. So that for me is what leadership is. Leadership is not having a team of people report to you. Yep, yep. Leadership is not you driving a car and everybody else following you. Um, leadership is choice and discipline. Cesar Geller has over 20 years in brand communication and business leadership experience. She tells us where she believes leadership should come from and how to define it for yourself. Oftentimes we lose our energy when we make choices in relative terms. I'm like, I want to be faster than Vic. Yes. But that's different from yes. saying I want to be the fastest black woman athlete. Yes. Because if I say I want to be faster than Vic, then I use him as a reference. So when Vic is in training, I'm not trained because I think that's fine. But whether Vic trains or not, he doesn't impact the choice I've made for myself. So the choice in its entity has to be absolute. It is za choosing for za, not za choosing in relation to Vic. Lisa Geller has a wide variety of experience. As Chief Operating Officer of SA Tourism, Deputy Managing Director of Herd Boys McCain, and CEO of Grey South Africa, to name but a few, she has an enlightening statement on awareness. Because no experience is wasted. I love that. I love that. That's a quote we're going to use. I love that. No experience is wasted. So if you, if you take all these things and you go, what was I supposed to learn in that moment about that thing or about myself? then we use every experience. So that's the first thing that's really important for me. The second thing that's really important is the thing you touched on about self-acceptance. Self-awareness is the key to self-acceptance. First, I must be aware, mm. and then I must accept those parts of me mm. that are just what they are. Because I know Cesar Geller as long as I have, I can truly say that she always wants to make a difference and always does make a difference. If your intention is to be of influence, what motivates me is the notion of making a difference. There you go. Um, and my favorite quote in the whole wide world um, is an E.E. E. Cummings quote where he says, in a world that does its best to turn you into something you're not, the hardest battle to fight is to remain true to yourself. Yeah. Please subscribe to the website to watch Cesar Geller's full interview and others who we interview on leadership.